Hello children. In G science, we have done till growth in first part. So today we will start second part from breathing. So let's start. Can you stay long holding your nose? No. We have to take in fresh air and give out used air through our nose. This is called breathing. So we breathe through lungs with the help of nose. Let's talk about fish. Fish breathe through gills. Behind its mouth they have holes just like our nose. Fish breathe by taking in oxygen from the water it drink. Similarly, grasshopper breathe through spiracles. Ants breathe through small pores present in leaves and these pores are called stomata. But non-living things do not breathe. So now we talk about breathing. So our next point is feel changes in surrounding. Come to the next point. Let's start. With the help of sense organs, all living beings feel changes in our surrounding. So what are our sense organs? Eyes. Eyes. Next, nose, ears, tongue and skin. So these are our sense organs. Sometimes we feel happy. Then we laugh. <laughs> Sometimes we feel sad. Then we cry. Similarly, in winter we feel shiver because of cold. While sweat when it is very hot. Similarly, a dog bark when it sees danger. A scared cat runs on seeing a dog. But plants do not have sense organ. Still, they can feel the changes. For example, touch me not. When you touch it close. The leaves say, touch me not. This means we react to situation. Now, non-living things can feel. No. Have you heard or seen that door crying when we shut? No, not at all. So now, our next point is reproductions. It means the process of producing babies or young ones. See here pictures. A cow give birth to calf. A woman give birth to baby. The lizard lay egg and it young one comes out of it. Many plants reproduce through seeds. See here pictures. But non-living beings do not reproduce. Does a table give birth to a small table or a chair give birth to a small table? No, because they both are non-living beings. They cannot reproduce. Only living things can reproduce. Now we can say that all the things that need food, that can grow, 
that can breathe, react, move on their own kinds, reproduce. More of their kinds are known as living beings. And the things which cannot eat, cannot move, cannot grow, not react, cannot produce, their young ones are known as non-living beings. So now I think everybody understood this chapter. So now your homework is read this chapter from the beginning. And what you do? Try to make short answer in your rough copy. And also true false and fill in the blanks. Till that, thank you.